Macro Deck Server. It's like the Elgato Stream Deck, but for free. It's simple to use and has a good chunk of features that most will find useful. Go try it out, it'll only take a few minutes of your time. Now to the full review. For being an alternative to the Elgato, Macro Deck is pretty good. It works by using the desktop app as well as the companion app on an Android device with 4.2 or higher. Sadly, there isn't an iOS variant available at the current moment, however I believe the dev team will make one eventually. If not, then it's no stress. You can do what I did here and pick up a cheap tablet from your local pawn shop or just search for one online. So how does this work compared to the Elgato Stream Deck? Well, it's dead ass the same. Pretty much everything you can do on the Elgato Deck, you can do on the Macro Deck. You can set it up via USB or wirelessly over your Wi-Fi. It can link up with Spotify, Twitter, OBS, sadly not Streamlabs, however that is on their plans, and Twitch. It doesn't have XSplit or some of the other modules like Elgato has provided in their SDK, but maybe Suchbyte will incorporate that at a later date. With that out of the way, let me show you how this works. So here's the program, and as you can see on the sides, there's OBS, Twitter, Spotify, and Twitch, as well as other categories. But first off, when you create folders, they will be on the other side like this, makes it easy to navigate folders within folders. Back to the left side, here are all the options within the categories. If you don't like clicking on the folder in the desktop app, you can tap on it on your device and it'll show in real time on the desktop. Now if you right click on an icon and then click on edit, you can then configure the icon. Choose what action it does, change the icon itself, or even add some text on the bottom, middle, or top. In the settings, you can choose a theme. It only has two themes at the moment, a dark theme and a blue theme, but I hope later they will add some maybe like dark and like maybe black and green themes, you know, just something a little more personal. You can also change the grid size from three presets all the way to whatever you want. I personally stick with the 5x3 because it's fine for what I use it for at the moment. And sadly, it doesn't support vertical orientation, which might be a bummer for some, but you can simply just rotate the icons and it'll be the same exact thing. Since I'm on the topic of icons, how can you get icons? Well, it's simple. You can use just the Elgato Maker itself. It's really simple. Click on the image you want or upload your own, add some text, and bam you Gucci, dog. You can also simply download some icon packs online and throw them in, or you can do what I did and just make your own custom icons. And after that's done, you can just go back to the app, drop in the action you wish to happen, and add on the pictures. That's it. I'll show you a few examples here opening the folders. So here I'm going to open my editing folder, and in here, I have a few folder directs. I'll open up my videos folder, and here we go. This is where I store my shadow play recordings and things alike. I'll close that, then open up my memes folder, and hey, look, we got some memes. Pretty standard stuff, just opening up folders and or programs. The use of this program is in the title. It's a macro deck. Hola, hola, rewind. You think I didn't see that shit? A shortcut for things that take a couple or more steps down to just one single press. Now, I don't know if you can configure it to do crazy stuff like Taren does over at LTT, but I wouldn't be surprised if you can. I myself have setups for Photoshop, Premiere, and After Effects, as well as Blender and a few other programs. But hey, that's the macro deck and all its glory in its current state. If you want an Elgato stream deck but don't have the money for it, which by the way is overpriced, then this is a great alternative. And oh yeah, I forgot to talk about the macro deck's greatest feature.